Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenna. Before we get started into today's video, please make sure to like and subscribe to become part of my YouTube family. All right, you guys. First off, I want to say Merry Christmas. I hope you all had a great Christmas. Happy Holidays. I really hope you all had such an amazing time and weekend with your family. Let me just say, I took the weekend off, and I took Christmas off, and it was just amazing. It was such a great time. I loved the quality family time. loved spending time with my family. Loved being off the devices. It was just really nice and relaxing and such a great time. And as you see, I undecorated. Now, I really want to know when you guys undecorate. I try to undecorate, like get rid of all my Christmas decorations before the new year. I just really like to have a clean slate. I like to have everything there and ready to go. Usually I wait a couple of days, but Christmas was on a Friday this year, and I just decided with my husband being off, I might as well just undecorate that weekend because I wasn't going to do it during the week when he wasn't there and the kids were with me and I just decided let's just get it done. Let's just undecorate. So please let me know in the comments down below when you undecorate and if you are or were looking forward to having your house back to normal. This year, I decided that I was going to be super organized when putting all of my Christmas decorations away. I wanted to know where everything was, have the bins organized, because for the last couple years, I literally just throw the decorations in, throw all the ornaments in, and I am done. Reason why, last year I was pregnant and sick, didn't really feel like it. I think my husband did the majority of the undecorating. And the years before, I just kind of didn't really care. Like, I just didn't want to spend the time organizing and cleaning it and going through it. I'd rather spend the time with Savannah or my family. But now this year, like I made the time to do it. And I am so glad that I went through everything. I cleaned out all of these bins, swept them all out, got rid of unneeded stuff, checked all the like the lights that were still left over in there, went through everything. So I know where everything is for next year. And I can be so efficient next year when we decorate. Like I just really wanted to be organized. So I am so glad that I took the time to do this. And it really did didn't take that much time at all to be honest like my husband and my kids were right there and we were all just talking and hanging out while I was doing this so it worked out perfect
As you guys are going to see, I am in a different outfit. I am in a different outfit because I decided to undecorate in two days, two different parts. The reason why I did that is because I just didn't really feel like undecorating everything in one night. So I did some of it the night before, as you saw, and then I'm doing some of it this night. And I actually finished, and I think the whole process, both days, took me two to three hours, no more than three hours at all, which was really nice. I'm glad that I decided to organize everything, get it all situated. Let me know how you guys take everything down. Like, do you have it organized or just throw it like I used to because it was just a lot easier that way. But I will say I do like it's organized now. I do like it. I'm trying to be more organized. It is a goal that I'm having for 2021. So I'm trying to be more organized. Now we decided to take this tree down first. The reason why is because, so if you didn't know already, my mother-in-law gave us this tree and she also gave us that bag on the ground, which is for the tree. And it was so nice, such a game changer, you guys, seriously. Like I hate putting the trees in the boxes. It just gets everywhere. And then Zach doesn't like carrying them up and down the steps and putting them up in the attic and yada, yada. This is such a game changer. We are going to be buying a bag for our other tree that you guys saw. That is a bigger tree than this, but we are going to be buying a bag. One, because it's really easy and simple. And two, because if you're a subscriber for a while, you know that we had like a little mouse problem in the garage and I don't know in the attic, but we did have a little bit of a mouse problem. So I want to get rid of the cardboard box because I'm just worried that they're going to like nest and live in there. And that just really grosses me out. I just, ugh, I just can't. So Anyways, we're going to get a bag and we're going to put it in there and I'm really excited. I think it's going to definitely help. Like Zach already loves the bag. Like he already had carried the tree down. He said it was super easy. 
It's going to be really easy to store them and put them away and to get them back down for next year. So let me know how you guys store your Christmas trees. We used to do it in bins. Then like the box actually came in. But now that we, you know, had a mouse problem, we're scared to get another mouse problem and then to ruin and live in the tree. So now we are doing the bag as you see. It's not forever. It's not Alright you guys, and that is going to be the end of this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe to become part of my YouTube family. And also make sure you turn on the bell to be notified for when I post. Because this week is going to be very, very important and special. Because I'm a part of another huge cash giveaway. That is right. I am so excited. I'm a part of this with 24 other ladies here on YouTube. And it is going to be awesome. So please make sure to check out that video so you know how to enter in order to win the cash giveaway. So excited. Make sure you check out that video. It'll be up in a couple of days. And I hope you all have a great new year. Let's end 2020 on a good note. Let's enter 2021 great. I hope you guys enjoyed this and it motivated you to clean or undecorate your house. All right, you guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. I've never really been the one who's worried. Always been the one who's keeping it cool. The kind of guy you chill while others hurry I didn't know that I've been the fool I've been telling lies about something real But I know love is based on honesty Kept thinking how real love should feel Knowing that it's not just you, it's me Cause I was made to be free